So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take high tower scrap metal. You just want to tab this into there. It can be a little tricky because it's they're both on hinges. Let me get that. You just want to peg this into here if I can. I'll do it off camera because I can see better. Trying to wait. You see, it's kind of hard to move. And hold on, let me get this off camera. I've got that tab together now. Mix master and this little piece that came with overload. Just clip this over the mixing drum if I can. Just, there we go, got that clipped over her right there as you can see. I'm gonna take Scavenger and Mix Master. And what you wanna do is you wanna take Mix Master and just, there's some, these will just tab into there and there's some hooks. You can just, as you can see, just plop this onto here. It's kinda of hard to do. I may have to do it off camera. Yeah, I think I may have to do this off camera. Hold on. Okay, this is the best I could do. What you wanna do is you wanna have these wheels over these parts and these little clips over the bars, but I can't really get that. So, but this was the best I could do. Now we're gonna take overload rampage. What you wanna do is you wanna take there's a little uh oh wait, I had it right, wait. There's a little slot right there and a thing right there. You just wanna Slide that into, if I can, just. It's hard to do, I may have to do it off camera again. Okay, it's going some, but I may have to uh, finish it off camera. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, hold on. Okay, so I got it slotted in, but that's as far as I can get, and I think that's as far as it might go. And take long haul and same thing, just. Slide this into here, like, like this. I think it's the right one. Hold on, let me see if I'm doing this right, hold on. Okay, so finally got it tabbed and you wanna use those two green tabs that will slot into there, but there we go, got the legs all done. One final thing you wanna do for the legs is take this little panel that came with scrap metal and just pour it right into here. If I can. No, and I can't see what I'm pouring into. Just pour that into there and there we go. You just wanna take scavenger. There's a uh, slot there and a thing there. You just wanna slot that over. If I can, probably have to do it off camera maybe. There we go, I got it. And move these back and then just swing these parts up. Oh, stand devastator, come on. Oh, he's gonna fall over me. I may have to prop up him up against the the backdrop. But there is what we have so far. I was able to get him stand ahead and move the legs forward some. We're gonna take scrapper and just there's a slot there that he'll slot into. Just slot that into there on that mushroom peg. Like that. I'm gonna take high tower and scrap metal, and this will just slot on here the same way. Just Slot that in there, if I can. <sighs> okay, there we go. But, there we go. There we have Devastator in his robot mode. And as you can see, he looks pretty huge. And, yeah, it's not 100% accurate what was seen in the film, but it is much better than the, uh, the old Supreme Class Devastator. I honestly thought the Legends Class figure was much more accurate, but this still is pretty cool as well. And uh, his head sculpt does look pretty cool as you can see. It's all focus, but he does have green eyes right there and much more stuff. And I'm not gonna get Skip Jack, even though it'll probably make this look much more accurate. I'm still not gonna get that figure. Here's the rest of him. Let me try to turn him around. Hopefully, he doesn't fall apart on me. 
because again, I don't, I didn't really do a perfect job tabbing Mixmaster in there because he. And here we got the back, right there. Articulation, the mouth can open and close. He doesn't have any head rotation. And this is about to, hold on. The arms can rotate right there. They move outward right there. You do get elbow rotation, elbow bend, and all sorts of uh, claw joints. Uh, nothing at the waist, even though it kind of looks like he's supposed to have one, but he doesn't. The uh, legs can kick forward, back, they move outward, uh, rotate right there. Uh, nothing at the knees, just do the way, well, he doesn't have any knee bending because, well, he's got no knee bending, but the ankles move down, they move up, and it does have ankle pivot on both sides, which is great. Stands about 12 inches tall there, as you can see. And for some comparisons, here he's with Optimus, Bumblebee, and Megatron. I probably won't get the Revenge of the Fallen version of this Bumblebee right here because there's there's very few little differences with that figure in this one right here. And for two other comparisons, here he is with Primus and Unicron. That's all I have for my review on the Transformers Studio Series Devastator. Bye.